What's up, party people? It's Dan, your bass for Guitar Superstar. I'm sorry it's been a while. I've missed you guys. And I have a new guitar with me. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know what this one is. This is a vintage V65, VVW65, in fact, that's vibrato and vintage white. And I absolutely love this guitar. But let's talk about it before I play it for you. So we have a maple body with a maple top on it. Uh, Wilkinson soap bar pickups here. The tuning pegs, I believe, are WJ44s, also Wilkinson. It does have the old school style tuners on it, the ones where you stick the string in the top. Those drive me nuts a little bit on every guitar I have them on, but I'm willing to deal with it because this one is really good. It's got a Slim C profile neck. I don't know why it's, or it's a soft C, not Slim C. I would say for those of you that are familiar with Vintage, this is somewhere between their like Lignum Rosa fretboard, which is what this one is. Their, their V6s, which is their Strat style guitars with the Rosewood fretboard on them. And their like Maple fretboard. V6 is somewhere in between there in terms of thickness. For me, it's absolutely perfect. There are no sharp fret edges on this. The only issue I had with it out of the box is the frets were kind of scratchy. So I had to break it in a little bit. I did put new strings on it because the strings were actually absolutely atrocious. And you'll notice this is modeled kind of loosely after a jazz master. So guitar obviously doesn't have like the weird knobs and stuff up here. You just got your three-way switch, volume and tone knob, then the two soap bar pickups. The other really cool thing with this, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm trying holding it up to the camera there. I don't know if it focuses on the bridge there. It's got like those little mini wheels the strings slide across and I absolutely love that. I think it adds great tuning stability to this. But anyway, let's get some tones for you. We're gonna start on this pickup by itself here with, um, I have distortion turned on right now. Let's turn that off. And then we're gonna go with some compression via the siren pedals and bill. I'm playing through my trainer YCV40 right now. clean middle position now Just this guy by itself. more punchy this one is it's uh i don't know i really like that anyway let's get some distortion going for you here we are using the voltan drive from my buddy joseph over at calvera effects on this pickup
I'm on the middle pickup now. Just do this one by itself. too much fun with this. Hold on. Here's what the uh Let's um, let's talk about it. Give me just a second here. I'm gonna unplug or turn the amp off. All right. So anyway, that's the uh, vintage V65. You guys get the idea with that one. I really love this guitar. I, in my opinion, it is uh, one of vintage's best guitars, and I am shocked as heck that this isn't one of their most popular models. I really am, and it. I might be wrong on that, it could be, because it took me literally a year to be able to get this one from the from Rick and the gang over RBI Music as the U.S. distributor. Now, part of that is they didn't have enough in stock the first time around, but these are absolutely incredible. I would prefer this over a Jazzmaster any day. I owned a Squire Classic Vibe Jazzmaster, and this bl absolutely blows that out of the water. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I love vintage is a brand but this is a great guitar this is actually legit one of my favorite guitars that i own now it's in my top three for sure and i've only had this thing a month it is an absolute delight to play it stays in tune great it sounds great i mean you guys saw that on both settings how awesome it sounds and for the price i think i paid like 550 600 for this tops I believe that's what they go for. Maybe a little bit more than that. It depends on the, the shop you buy it from. But once I put new strings on this, it just sing, sings. Absolutely sings. So they have this color. Now they do have this model without the vibrato on it. For those of you that don't like having the vibrato arm. I just think it looks cool. That's why I got this one. Plus I wanted the white with the, the torch shell pick guard. 
kind of the vintage white color. They do have another one that's more of an alpine white with a white pickguard that does not have the tremolo arm on it or the vibrato. The other vibrato model they have that's in the reissued series, which is the non-icon ones, is the black with the torch shell pickguard. And then they have a tobacco sunburst one and the non-vibrato version. And then, as part of the new lineup, they actually released two models of this in the Icon series. So they have the black with a torch shell pickguard that's all relic and stuff. It looks pretty sweet. And then they have a tobacco sunburst version of it that looks absolutely gorgeous too. So if you like what you heard, you wanna pick one of these up, uh, call your local vintage retailer or look on Reverb. A lot of shops that sell these will sell on Reverb and it's legit mom and pop guitar shops. It's not some scammer from overseas that's gonna try and, and hook you on a cheap price or whatever. But yeah, these are fantastic guitars, hands down probably in my opinion, one of the best guitars in Vintage's lineup, if not the best. These should be selling like crazy right now, especially with all the Squire's quality control issues currently in the Classic Vibe series. I've played three or four and had issues with all of them. These, I mean, the neck is just smooth as all get out. I mean, the frets are dressed so nice on this one. There's no binding on it or any of that. The only, really the only other weird thing, I don't know if you noticed this or not, there's kind of a discoloration on the fretboard a little bit. It's not really consistent throughout. It's not a huge deal for me. I think it looks pretty on this particular one, but some people may not like that. Some people want more consistency when it comes to that. Obviously, I think machine heads that are the vintage style are a huge pain in the butt as far as restrings go, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. And I suppose with this, you could always put the Wilkinson tuners that are on the V6s on here as well. The ones with the double holes in them that don't load in the top. But anyway, I've rambled on way too long. That is the vintage VVW65. And it is a great guitar. Go out and pick one of these up if you have not already. Anyway, as always, if you like this content, if you found it valuable or entertaining in some way, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for me and that little bell symbol so you know when I have additional videos coming out. As always, thank you so much for watching and have fun playing.